Hello, Koi. Here's our COVID-19 briefing from Team Koi for Wednesday, February 24th. The Department of Health is reporting no new cases today. We currently have three active cases in isolation, one of which has been hospitalized. We have four individuals in health-directed quarantine as close contacts. Our cumulative case count is now 213, including 182 confirmed locally, one probable, and 30 tested elsewhere but reported after arrival on island. The County of Kauai and the Kauai District Health Office provides free COVID-19 testing weekdays in Lihue for anyone without symptoms. The free testing is available without appointment Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Convention Hall. No doctor's order is required. Results are provided the same day. These tests cannot be used for the state's Safe Travels program for travel to Maui County or Hawaii Island. However, they can be used by Kauai Resort Bubble guests as a post-travel test to be released from quarantine after three days. If you are sick with symptoms of COVID-19, please do not come to the testing center. Call your primary care provider for an evaluation. For more information on our free testing or resort bubble program, please visit www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. More than 22,000 doses of vaccine have been administered on Kauai. Appointments are available to Kupuna age 75 or older at Wilcox, Mahilona, and Kauai Veterans Memorial Hospitals, as well as Longs in Kapa'a. Kupuna appointments must be made directly with the provider. For links to register, please visit kauai.gov forward slash vaccine. We are offering vaccines as quickly as supply allows. As a friendly reminder, vaccines are limited to Kauai residents only. Visitors are not currently eligible for vaccines on Kauai. Those who have been vaccinated should continue to follow safety precautions. Wear your mask, Keep your distance and please avoid large gatherings. For more information on Koi's vaccine program, please visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. President Biden this week announced that a new round of Paycheck Protection Program loans are available. Starting today, Wednesday, February 24th, businesses with fewer than 20 employees and sole proprietors have an exclusive window to apply. For more information, See www.sba.gov. The goal is to give lenders and community partners more time to help the smallest businesses to submit their applications. Larger PPP eligible businesses can apply in a few weeks. The program expires on March 31st, 2021. Throughout this pandemic, we've had many community nonprofits step up to assist those in need. Kauai United Way is one of our key partners as it funds so many Koi agencies that provide support to our community. This year, Koi United Way campaign ends February 28th. If you are interested in helping the United Way's Wave of Compassion program, please visit kauiunitedway.org or call the office at 245-2043. Mahalo to all those who continue to help your neighbors throughout this pandemic. Starting in late March, the county will begin a transition to return to public recreational camping at county campgrounds and will phase out its shelter-in-place camping program. It will be a phased program starting at Anini and Anahola Beach Parks on March 31st. Recreational camping will resume at each park several weeks after the shelter-in-place program concludes to allow time for site cleanup maintenance and facility repairs. By the start of this transition program, the Department of Health reports that houseless individuals will have been offered vaccines. Mahalo to our partners at the DOH, Ho'ala Lahui, and Malama Pono for assisting in this effort. County park rangers are conducting on-site outreach of this plan. Additionally, the Housing Agency's Homeless Coordinator, in collaboration with Social Service Agency partners, will lead continuous efforts in referring homeless individuals to available on-island resources to help in their transition process.
Our planning department is asking residents to take an online survey on its Waimea 400 master plan, which is planning the future of the 417 acre parcel that the county acquired on the Malka side of the highway between Waimea and Keikaha. For more information, please visit Waimea400.com. The survey will remain open until February 28th. The Department of Parks and Recreation is also seeking public input on the draft master plan for Black Pot Beach Park. You can visit the virtual open house at www.blackpotplan.com to walk through the 3D meeting room, download a copy of the draft report, and submit comments. As a final reminder, property owners in Hanapepe, along Waimea River and Moloa Stream are advised to contact your insurance agents to see if you will be impacted by FEMA's updated flood insurance rate maps. The new maps become effective February 26, so please contact your insurance agent today. For more information, visit www.floodsmart.gov or view the flood maps at the Koi County Department of Public Works Engineering offices. You may also call Doug Haig at 241 4849 or email dhaigh at kauai.gov. Mahalo for understanding the role you play in mitigating the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please continue to wear your masks, wash your hands, keep your distance, and avoid large gatherings. Together, we can help to keep Kauai safe. Aloha.